before independence due to the british rule in india indian society was ridden with inequality injustice deprivation um exploitation due to the uh, colonial rule and all these things so our new constitution had to make some provisions facilitating social change so let us look at some of them these were the uh, this was the social engineering that was done in the constitution abolition of untouchability reservation for scs and sts in education employment and legislature directive principles of state policy right of religious minorities to run educational institutions such institutions may also receive government funds so these were some of the social changes that were done to uh, um, sorry these were some of the provisions that were given to facilitate social change in the society okay now after laying out the draft constitution to the uh, ca the uh, the draft constitution was now open to critics so there were many criticisms that were given in by the members of ca let us look at some of them okay so these are the critics for example maulana hasrat muhani he argued that the draft constitution is just a mere copy of the 1935 indian act okay another instance where damodar swarup seth was a member he argued that the draft constitute constitution ignored socialism it did not take into consideration the newer a uh, more recent constitutions like the one of soviet union and it ignored socialism also he argued that the centrality of villages there's too much centralization that it might lead to fascist ideas fascism in the future also he said that the constituent assembly does not completely represent all the people in india because of the indirect elections that were uh, that were uh, conducted to elect the members of the ca also let's look at another case where the right to equality clause 6 was being discussed was being debated and uh, the word um, there was a discussion by all these members of the ca pramadha ranjan takur sc banerji rohini kumar choudhary k m munshi thirendranath datta on the ambiguous nature of the word untouchability it was asked uh, for the definition of untouchability so as to what should be called as untouchable uh, untouchability and what should not but finally it was decided that the definition of untouchability would be would just be left for the future generations so these are some of the critics and of in the ca debates now the constitution makers knew that the laws needed to be changed from time to time as the society progresses so they gave the right to amend the constitution now let us look at how the constitution is amended okay so amendment of the constitution the process first it requires the approval of two third members in both the houses of the parliament that is the lok sabha and the rajya sabha and Uh, where at least fifty percent of the members are present in those houses, okay. Then some of the amendments which are particularly uh, related to the f- uh, federal federal provisions, these amendments require the approval of the state legislature as well. And then after this, the president must approve the amendment, and thus the amendment of the constitution is done, okay. Now. let us look at the major events in the life of the constitution there are two major uh, that we look at the first one is in 1976 uh, which is the inclusion of secular and socialist words into the preamble of the constitution uh, one thing here is that till now till september to, uh, 2023 there are 106 amendments that are done in the constitution okay so coming back the secular and socialist words were added into the preamble of the constitution now the words like equality liberty justice were already in the preamble and they uh, kind of were giving um, they were like these words secular and socialist they were giving that uh, meaning 
So, these words were also added in 1976. Another major thing, another major event of the constitution comes in 1973, the Keshavananda Bharati case. In this case, the Supreme Court has given a judgment that the basic features of the Indian constitution cannot be destroyed or altered by the Indian parliament. Now, the basic features, what do you mean by that? These that you can see are the 20 basic features of the Indian constitution which cannot be destroyed or altered. So, this is all about the making of Indian constitution. Thank you.